Hello YouTube. Today taking a look at Sim Airport, which is a well, tycoon style game, much in the art style and everything of Prison Architect. I think it's a lot like Prison Architect and might even be using the same engine, only managing an airport instead of a prison. And I like to have one of these tycoon style games. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here for a minute. I like having a tycoon style game around. Uh, this type of art genre, retro style, is perfectly fine with me. I've been playing RimWorld for a couple of years now, well, probably close to four or five, and that's kind of suited that, or scratched that itch, but I saw this on sale. It had overall pretty high reviews, even though it is an early access, uh, which, you know, has its fair share of issues and stuff like that, but that being said, it seemed like it was well on its way, and from playing it with it for about a day, I can tell you that there's a few you know, there's a couple of bugs, and as far as systems working exactly correctly, I haven't gotten that far in depth. But uh, there's a couple of UI bugs. There's a couple of things that annoy me uh, that I would change if I were the game designer uh, in creating a product called Sim Airport. And, you know, things that could have obviously be fleshed out more over time. But overall, it's, a, it's in a pretty good place for 15 bucks. Uh, again, this is about the only thing I picked up during the summer Steam sale, so... Uh, I feel that I'm going to probably get my money's worth out of it. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with games like this. I love them, but I hate them because I'll start playing at 8 o'clock at night, and the next thing I know, it's 8 o'clock the next morning. So, this is one of those things that I always have to kind of be mindful of. Now, it starts out, it has everything basic that you need to start out with. Uh, you do need to build a baggage handling system and also take a look at getting flights in. And you go over here, we've got four airlines that are interested. Uh, we got a couple of morning, although it doesn't look like we do that one. Uh, we do have a morning Embraer 195 for them. Uh, looks like we can do three afternoon flights might be pushing it. Uh, but is there anybody else that has a morning 1900? I think we can do that one just fine. Uh, afternoon, morning 767. We, we can't handle that. So we're very much starting out as a regional airport. And now we have to go over to the scheduling, and you'll see the first real major bug, 4 a.m. And that is, once you scroll over you can't scroll back. It automatically just keeps going like so. So that is the one annoying bug that I have found in the game thus far. I'm sure it'll probably be fixed in the next version. Uh, you can also adjust the amount of time needed for boarding. If you see that a plane is getting out early, you can reduce the amount of time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say two hours for deplaning and planing. Uh, this one wants to arrive at 4.30 p.m. Uh, 2.15 p.m. Twelve p.m. And then 6.15 a.m. And it looks like we can schedule for one more morning flight if there's any available. Aero time morning, 7.07. Uh, 7.67. And we can only accept up to a 737 or Airbus A320 and the current configuration. So unfortunately, there, there's going to be no more flights available on the schedule uh, at this time. So next up is we got to create a baggage handling system. And having learned from previous experience, now one of the nice things is everything here is sorted, which I believe in prison architect they're not, and sometimes in rim world too, things are sorted, but they're sorted alphabetically. So if I go over to ops, I'm going to want some ticketing desks. In particular, I'm going to want two more, and that's because with the hubs, it costs four dollars an hour to operate a large hub or a small hub. So we're going to go ahead and do a large hub here now. You, if you sold this or quit the project, you would not get your money back. So I probably should have put it a little bit closer, but...
and you can only connect two points. You can't make a conveyor, single conveyor line here that would go in, which I find to be a little bit annoying. Uh, I don't like that particular aspect of the design right now, but again, that's kind of a personal, somebody else might completely disagree with me. And we're also going to need a baggage depot, which I'm going to put right here, and that should allow me sign to damn no that will not allow me uh, so see we did not get any money back for that and baggage depot go ahead and put right there oh Crap, that's right. You can't assign it until it's actually built. Damn it. Okay. I'm going to quit doing that. <laughs> uh, you have to wait until it's built. I'm going to go ahead and build this one specifically to there. And now we will have to set up our baggage carousels. Uh, we're going to set up two for right now. Probably only really need the one. And uh, we will need a baggage hub down here. And we're going to go ahead and put it to the far side over here. And we have our first baggage carousel system. Now we're also going to need a small hanger for, how much is a small hanger? 28,000, a medium one's 46. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and splurge, put the money on there right now. And then I'm gonna spend some money here to upgrade. This will enable us to do night flights. Uh, we're also gonna put uh, Pappy, which increases the safety, the meatballs, tells you if you're on the appropriate glide slope for landing. Put those at both ends of the runway. I don't know if we need an ILS, the big boy airlines, 20,000, yeah, we'll go ahead and put the uh, ILS system in. Now that's only 98,000. We do, this is a proper British game, so we've, we've got to uh, get people queued. Uh, uh, shrink, these are free, so. Expand queue. Proof that I can't draw a straight line even with a mouse. And then we're going to do another queue that is here that will eventually be for first class objects, uh, operations, ticking in. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and set up our queues for here. Now, of course, we're also going to want to have information. Having flight information as people walk in the door is always a good idea. Uh, put some there. Standing in line for security, you're going to want to know. 
and then maybe also here in the baggage area as well. Uh, we also need to now set up our secure... Okay, we're at 1 p.m. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Snake this along. Also going to build a second queue here. Then a third queue. And then we're going to need security exit doors, I believe. Operation. And if we go to report, secure areas. Huh, you know what? We may not need that. I'm not 100% sure. Cancel that project. Let's just see what happens if it's still considered to be secure, uh, since I guess there's only one way in. We're going to assign coach only, assign, and this is going to be first class only, assign, and assign close. So all three of these queues will service to him. So next thing we are going to need is a few benches. That area. might need to go away. A couple of other good ideas to have here would be comfort. An ATM there. ATM here. And then operations. Ticketing kiosks. Uh, cancel, even though you know, we don't get the money back for that. This should help speed things up for boarding. And we're a little bit overbuilt right now for those things. And eventually, first thing we're going to have to do is probably expand security here. But with that, we'll go ahead and say, hurry up. Build things. Now you can go to staff here. I think I am going to go ahead and hire two more workmen, even though that does bring up our, uh, as well as another janitor. Oh yes, that's something else we need to uh, build while thinking about it here, garbage bins. Put one here. And yes, it's also a good idea to have a couple more bins. And then you can build decor items, such as some decorative trees. Help cheer a couple of things up.
So yes, we now have a fully should be a fully realized baggage carousel system is functioning. Sign two. Same thing here. Okay, that is assigned. Uh, that's going to be first close only. This is going to be coach only. And we will need one more gate desk, I think. So 2 a.m. Should start to see our first drop off, and here comes our first passengers. Oh, right. Uh, a sign. Uh, staff. Comfort, uh, retail, get people as they're going through the line. Assigned to first class only, unassigned, assigned to coach. Staff. So we got people coming in. And we see how well things run in. Here's the CRJ coming in, 900. Oh yes, assigned vehicles, need a baggage car. Alright, it is fully functional. So our baggage system is now completely functional and we've got to wait. That's sort of the game in a nutshell. It is uh, build a lot of stuff and then a little bit of hurry up and wait. So we have our vending machine set up. We'll see how things go through the first day here. Operations. Now one of the things that I have found thus far is reports are somewhat lacking. We have to create a CFO's position uh, in order to gain access to that functionality. 
And in order to do that, we've got to extend do a 5 by 5 and another 5 by 5 and that'll be our two offices that we're going to need and we're down to 8,000 in the bank so yeah we're going to stop building stuff for a while and uh we have no flight scheduled for tonight, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see here. I gotta go up here. Affordable air. We have a night that is a 737. We can accept, so we're gonna get our first. Uh, First 737. The B-1900 at night. B-1900 at night. And a 737. So we'll have two 737 flights at night. And we'll go ahead and schedule those right now. And with that, I think uh, until we can find one more morning flight, we're pretty well booked up. That looks good. And we got a little of extra cash for accepting those flights. Those won't start until tomorrow. Now, I do do this. Think of objects we need structure or is it ops ops door? And then we got a zonum office. Now I'll tell you what you need for offices. In this case, we're going to need an office chair. Office desk. Same thing here. This chair. Office desk. And we'll continue to bleed income for the rest of the night until tomorrow. And until next time, let me know if you would like me to do a complete series on this. Uh, might basically take a day out sometime and start from scratch. If you have more interest, let me know in the comments section below. But yeah, that's uh, Sim Airport in a nutshell. I, I relatively enjoy it at this point for a early access title. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend it to people yet. Uh, there isn't really much of an end game that I've found yet. Oftentimes there isn't in something like this, but until they get random events, and ramp up maybe have a little bit difficulty decision or uh, selections it's pretty easy as it stands right now so until next time see you later